EA Sports within the game. Just hear that ball sizzling in the air. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South right, Philly. Leave, Tonight, leave we've got a leave. great Sunday night matchup between the Los yes. Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Jenny, why are you stepping on the toe? Yeah. Too bad to eat some shit. Whatever they had. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. Oh, Aaron comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, this defense for the Rams, terrific last week in the season opening victory. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Yeah, which, but a nice little okay, game. Easy. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back. Nah, this is the Rams. And put you back in a good situation. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking yeah. at a third and three. They'll get this out he wide suck, here to Elliott. He needs a prediction. So he stops Blitz here play. for no gain. And that's going to make that's it fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. What? Y'all did see that, right? And he is going to have an Eagles first down. It went right through my hands, and I read it the whole fucking time. And that'll keep the drive alive. That's a fourth down That's pickup awesome. of 10 yards and an opportunity That's certainly awesome. missed on the defensive side. But first down hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. Well, I'm and glad this goes down to the 42 yard line. The Eagles at 1 0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get their road victory in the opener. And now they look to get to 2 0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Throw it to him if you want to, nigga. That shit is pick, nigga. Nah, nah. Well, JT could be in my ear right now. He used to hate this shit. He didn't even do nothing. Lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Seven play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. 
And that is no. no, no. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. What are you doing? I need pizza, you need it. You need a what? Wow. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. That's to his running back complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. More. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Mm. <laughs> Nils could have just came up though. You don't have nobody over your head. Why did you come up? Nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. What? Man, get the fuck out of here. Take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. That's Dallas Goddard. His first touchdown two. here of the new campaign. That's two. And That's the two. Will claim the Thrown in the cover. Look the at this shit. First here tonight. They saying he misread. Extra point, Jake Elliott. Yeah. He's That's cool. You can do right to it. That shit, black. That's his game here. He only running two formations, so that's 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 his lead. Now after the touchdown, here's to Elliott on formations. to kick it away. Okay, then don't ask he for none. The God damn, Jern. And he doesn't even get this to the ten. He's taken down at the nine. Fucking begging all the damn time. your big horse charge up the middle not too fancy there was it nothing fancy at all challenging that defense and on that go around the offense won the challenge <laughs> on first down Stafford here gets this to Kareem <laughs> his running back and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Damn, don't start that shit. I don't want to hear that.
And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Chain second and 13. Slot man moves right. Now on second and 13. Stafford. Ooh. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. But I certainly didn't like what he saw from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously, that's well short of the first. First down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there, a big play on fourth down. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. The slot man in motion right. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. He finds Pickens over the middle. I'm telling you, it's no stopping. Bro, your partner showed me that route. It's no stopping him. Under the Eagles' 25-yard line. He ran on me all game. Jern, don't ask me for no more. Then get out of my face. Now, bye. Against him a few minutes ago because they come out and reestablish the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Hey, and Matt, get two! Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. Don't you see her having a problem? Almost like Bring me the phone. The action was on the clock. They'll give the hunt here on the option, and he'll be taken down I'm just shy of the red zone yes. at the 21. <laughs> One of them, like, saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. M, you fans to watch it. Now shut the fuck up. To throw on second and six, Stafford, and that is Damn. incomplete. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. 
so he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell no. on it. Just move on to the next play. I'm gonna get shit. I'm gonna fucking electron. Put all this shit off. Jefferson and he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion Plenty of things to talk about put on Paw Patrol me their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive how about how they're responding coming back that's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive two minutes on the clock second quarter seven nothing ball game Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Throw left side complete. That's Hunt. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both players <laughs> doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Third down, here's Hunt. He's brought down after a pickup of five, but he needed eight. Fourth down. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. Santos' kick is up and through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing at the break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. This one taken just inside the 10. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. offense set to begin their next drive and with a 7-3 lead we'll see how aggressive they want to be now throwing to start the drive but that went in right it's another zone defense it looks like it's open for possibilities but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Hurt sets up to throw it. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And he takes us beyond the 30 before going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure. Why the fuck does he do that? And he has a big gain inside. The fuck would you go guard to? Fucking people! The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. with the lead trying to get to 2 and 0. Oh. Here's first and 10. From the gun it's hurts. Trying for Brown and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And the pressure gets to him and brings it down. Stafford is sacked. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. To try again after the sack. Stafford. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They fucking tried to get it all time. back. You're not on that fucking guard. Weren't able to do so. Final shot before the break, Stafford. He's got oh, you catch it now. I can't kick a fucking field goal now. Across midfield and inside the 45. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, Not good. Man, welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready game. for quarter number Every three. Alongside Charles game. Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. 
The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. But you just stopped 17 it. yards on the you catch and run. It's a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. <laughs> Down, they'll run with Hunt. Like and right. he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, You've kind of hit the jackpot there. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll give to Hunt here on the option. And they'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. Hello. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Give to Hunt here on the option. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. touchdown on the year and the Rams have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half is anybody watching? Well, hard to argue with that there. being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone couldn't agree more partner prior to that drive they sputtered a little bit but it looks like they found the formula I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the 10. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Philly offense set to go. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like Julio Jones all alone. I'm going to say, just tackle. Be taken down God here, damn. Just the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing his hurts. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the Let's field where he threw that one. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Hurts. And this one is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Oh, fucking God damn, get there! Touchdown, Philadelphia! I tell you, Julio oh, Crossways. And what the with fuck do you do? You just stand straight up the fucking the field. Back with a touchdown of their own I say go cross. Elliot on for the extra point. Tight, 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 tight. How are you gonna fucking Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Stop. 
Stafford on first down. Oh, hit as he throws the there, incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Stafford to Higby there. Rams first down. They'll look to throw here. Got an open man. It's Pickens. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Man open, it's Cup. he's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them <coughs> drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Wide second down, right back to Hunt. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. 87 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Third down conversion at even 20 yards. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. I call it a fuck. I fucking swear I call it a fuck. 
So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Stafford. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. Get in. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Oh, and second down right back to Hunt. This is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. For the lead, here's third and goal. And we're just inside a 10 What now? their final timeout. Nine seconds left. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Stafford now to throw, and he's got it! It's caught for a touchdown! And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time myself. left for the last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better I can't run drive month. because no more. not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock it's out glitch. as well. And denied their opponent John needs to sit here and run tight all fucking game. Terrific situational football to end this one.
Santos with yeah. the extra point. Don't run. Because uh, that's what he paused it for. They're get out of here with a come from behind victory. He's running much again. So he called me on Facebook to tell me, hey, bro, don't, monster, monster is a glitch. And I still fucking won. Bro, it only got three plays. And with a cool down, it can't be a glitch because I can only run the run play one time. It is a glitch. It is a glitch formation in the game. But I can only run it one time. I only do the run. I don't run the, I don't run the uh, RPO. The run is not the glitch. The RPO is. I haven't threw the RPO not once. Oh, Whoa, this nigga just want to complain because you fucking lost. Send this one away. Take it at the 15. Nah, I already said y'all niggas in here fucking crybabies, bro. Like, you would have won this game? Say nothing. I just walked the whole field. And oh, how many times have I ran Monster? Get the fuck out of here. Bro, what did that, bro, how many times did I run Monster? Because he just, hey, bro, you need to boot him. He run it. Okay, that's it. Like, come on, bro. Fuck out of here. Now he don't want to play. So you going to quit like the last nigga did. Get the fuck out of here. offense set to begin their next drive so remember Charles last time they were out here they scored but they just saw the opposition score and they're trailing right now so they're trying to keep pace here they need a touchdown drive well if you're a fan of offense you're loving this but if you're a fan of defense this is game over to watch. and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch you got used it three fucking the times the whole drive. fucking game you're the double digit snaps you need a score here not just to follow the momentum Nigga, we do it for you fuck it put the onus back on game your opponent over. and that's what they're doing right now swapping that onus back and forth 